better situated in the north of Ireland, all in the county of Sweet Tyrone. Along the banks of you sweet lovely stands, this ancient fabric called Old Arbo. I have travelled from sun, I have travelled from others, under the harbours along the line. The course I took to the Egyptians' ground, and travelled down by the river Nile, down by old Cairo and Alexandra, some curious buildings appeared to me. But in all my reckons and undertakings, our boy equal I never could see. In the summer season for recreation, I can at least tread along the strand. Today the people of Murta and Arbon Ballandary came out to protest against the decision of the DED to award a prospecting license to BP. The people came out today, they paraded from Murta in the centre of the community to the old cross of Arbo, which has been here for over a thousand years. It's the focal point of this area. It was a really cold day and between two and a half and three thousand people came out to protest against open cast lignite mining, which could well take place if government plans go ahead. This area here, adjacent to Loch Ney, is so low lying. The water table is high. If the lignite, which we know is below us, was extracted and the overboard and put back, it would still leave this area well below water level. In other words, we would be flooded. And this basically is why people are protesting because it'll wipe out the community permanently. Mm -hmm. So far, our campaign has been designed towards getting the information over to the people, which hasn't been forthcoming from the government, because they've been putting claims out that nothing's going to happen here. Last week they admitted there would be a small lake formed if mining went ahead. Next week they'll probably say something different. Because we're so close to Loch Ney here, most families in the Murtown area, for instance, which was prospected last year, 12 boreholes were drilled and lignite was found in all the boreholes. Uh, the Murtown area contains about 300 families. 97 of those families depend on fishing for their living. Uh, the rest, about 50 small farmers, small meaning 20 to 50 acres. So. Basically, that's the makeup of, in economic terms, this area. We wish to thank the people of Murtown, Arbo, Derry Lachlan, Plano, Croft, and Ballanderry, and those who have come from far off places to help us make our case. A special thanks to the fishermen who have made the culture of this place so special and today have contributed so much. Thank you.